Jake Paul is a former YouTuber who now lists himself as a pro wrestler and a musical artist. But I think he's like the SoundCloud version of those elephants that learned to hold a paintbrush. Like, I guess you can call what they do art, but it doesn't change the fact that only tasteless idiots are buying it. I watched four of Jake Paul's most recent music videos only to find that they were all dragged down by the same unique blend of bad songwriting, glossy yet shoddy production quality, and ego-driven concepts that lack a female perspective sorely. It's like if artificial intelligence created a music video from the world's horniest YouTube comments. How else would we end up with girls who look like models running through the snow in Halloween costumes? Like that's not a storyline, that's just a bunch of random thoughts from a guy named Chad. So strap on your sexiest snow boots and let's get gross in a Jake Paul installment of Clip Breakdown. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another installment of Clip Breakdown. This is the playlist where we dive into those TV movies, music videos, YouTube content, and whatever else is assaulting the internet. And we look at it clip by little clip. So we can say to ourselves, uh, uh, no. Or we can say, oh, okay, okay, I get it. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. As you probably already know, Audible is the world's leading provider of audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. They have thousands and thousands of titles to explore. Like there was not a single search term I put in where I didn't find something that I wanted to listen to immediately. And with Audible Plus, I get full access to the Plus catalog, which includes podcasts and originals. Listening to Audible really helps me unwind and feel like I'm going to a different place. Right now I'm loving About Face, the life and times of this makeup artist to the stars. I'm fascinated by the golden age of filmmaking and this autobiography lets me kind of see it through the eyes of this pioneering female makeup artist, which is also right up my alley. Visit audible.com slash Doremio or text Doremio to 500, 500 to start your free 30 day trial and let me know what you listen to first. I know some of you are going to be like, wait, your last name is not Demario. Thanks to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. You get two videos every week. Check out my merch and my Patreon. The first video from Jake Paul that we'll be looking at is a needless assault against education called My Teachers. And this actually wasn't on my list at all until Hannah or Smoky Glow let me know on Twitter Twitter that this one had to be seen. So I obviously had to check it out because I trust her word above everyone. And from the first clip, I could see that we have issues. All right, class. Who amongst you lovely people can tell me the quadratic formula? Not until you can tell me why this teacher has the sickly yellow color of something that was sprayed out of a skunk. Like based on this dingy orange skin tone, I'm guessing the quadratic formula is a squared plus b squared equals cheese squared. Cause mama, this is a bowl of broccoli and cheddar soup. This is like a trademark of YouTuber music videos I've seen so far is mixing color temperatures and getting that gross result of yellow looking skin. You can see in this shot that there's like a lot of light coming in through those open windows and then they have a lamp on the teacher up front, the sunlight is blue, and then your lamp is tungsten balanced, so it's orange, which always gives you this gross color. And then it has this pink tint to it because somebody tried to color correct that and make it look a little better. It's a major trademark of, of YouTuber music videos. Yellow, unhealthy glands. That's what it looks like. Look, he's even teaching about light sources on that blackboard. Mama, don't act like you know. There's no light artistry happening here. Once they go over to the other kids in the classroom, we see normal looking skin tones. Do you see the difference? Little Tay looks normal. Little Tay, I always do that. Why don't I just teach this class? I think you're in the wrong class, sweetheart. Hey, wait, 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 oh. stop. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. We love when a music video has audio mixing that sounds like it's from a 911 recording. Hey, wait, 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 okay, wait. Also, why do I feel like the script for this scene was just Jake Paul telling a room full of people, yeah, and then we're like all gonna throw papers at him and it's gonna be so dope because he'll be like, no, don't do it. As soon as Little Tay starts throwing that paper, the teacher sounds so far away and echoey because they didn't have a mic on him. They should have used the audio take from his close up or even giving us a reaction shot of that first paper ball bouncing off his head because all of a sudden it sounds like everyone's throwing paper at him. So it's very confusing. That's how you know they didn't know what they were shooting in this piece. They were like, look at the good school. Then we take the camera. That's how I feel about this. Anyway, the teacher never taught them that. <laughs> look, I'm a millionaire, but. I ain't used nothing in my life that the teachers taught me. Imagine calling yourself out for never using reading and writing skills in the first line of your diss track. He's like, eh, I made a million bucks and I never once learned how to and tell time on an analog clock. Who cares? That doesn't make you sound cool. It makes you sound ignorant. Ignorant, sir. Oh, look, I'm drinking this. It tastes like grape soda. It's crazy. Sparkling water. My teachers never told me that. 
When you say how to deal with this or that, do you mean language and expression? Because that's not strong writing. Also, I don't know, but maybe I don't need to see your Kino Diva light and your crew water bottles in the shot. Like maybe you can just keep stuff on frame that you want to be seen. Oh, so your teachers never taught you how to count out money in first grade? Then who did? Because I've seen videos of your parents, Jake Paul, and uh, I don't know if they had it in them either. Is it mean to call someone's parents uneducated? Mwah! I didn't do it, so I don't know. Huh, I would never say such a thing. A doo doo? A doo doo? <laughs> I hate this song. He's like, how to get a D in math? <laughs> Stop bragging about your bad grades. My teachers never liked me one bit. They said I wouldn't. Listen, no one's here to argue that your teachers probably didn't like you, but I also don't believe that they said you wouldn't amount to anything. It was probably more like, can you please stop disrupting my class with your tacky f***ing jokes? And also, I think it's more of a flex if your teachers did like you in high school. For example, one time I saw my seventh grade music teacher at a gay bar when uh, we were both wasted, and it was one of the best memories of my life. I don't know why that bar was serving a seventh grader alcohol, that's their business. But for real, I always loved it when after I graduated my teachers would add me on Facebook and be like, you were a pleasure to have in class. I was like, yeah, because I'm not awful. Thank you. Teachers are awesome and underpaid and overworked, so I don't understand why he's like taking this tone with them. It's very like, shut the hell up. Just because you got an F in social studies doesn't make it their fault. This shot could be making a powerful statement about the rampant white privilege in Hollywood if it weren't just an unironic depiction of the rampant white privilege in Hollywood. Jake Paul is so blinded by his own fortune that he can't even walk on his own or understand optics. These kids are just running amok at this school, I tell you that. That guy is me in kindergarten when things got too noisy, just hiding behind the teacher and gay screaming like that. Ah! I was a very sensory child, you know, like too much stimulation and I want to go home. I'm still that way. Don't bring me to a noisy restaurant. I'll have a tantrum. Okay, next, this song features Sunny Maloof, a name I recognize. I think I heard her a lot around 2018 when this came out or heard of her. She's like a young rapper. I live. This is the best part of the song for sure. Where is this girl? I haven't heard her in a while. She just said I need to get up on my gray. Get my B's and raise them up to them A. In the class I got supreme on my J. You always trying to hate but you got nothing to say. You better work it and you're ready to wear Moschino, girl. I love this. Best part of the video for sure. And she's the only person who looks age appropriate to be rapping about high school. Just putting that out there too. Stop talking about high school if it was seven years ago. Okay, it's boring. You're boring. There was another guy featured on this. His name is like like Anthony Trujillo, but I think the rapping name was like A, B, C, A, B. I want him to do a B-52's cover of this. My teachers never taught me that. Hey, my teachers never taught me that. Ho, oh, my teachers never taught me that. Ha! Give us the glam rock version of to my teachers. His name is AT3. His teachers never taught him that. Never taught me how to flow when I be on the beat. Keep in class all day, there be F's all on my sheet. F's all on your sheet? Even you look lost saying that line. This whole thing is a piece of sheet. I got F's all on my sheet. Like, that's not a good line. Go home. Shut up. The whole time they're like using tools to break school related items. <laughs> Like, who told you it would look cool to be smashing a desk? Cause I just see two toddlers banging on pots and pans. <laughs> Make a noise up. My teacher told me I should get up on my grades. And they took my B's and turned them up into A. I'm good, I'm Sunny Maloof. Mama, my teachers, no. No, in school detention. Let's move on to the next song called I'm Single. It's about Jake Paul being single. Guess what? You should stay single because I don't even have the energy for you plus another person. Anyway, this piece takes place at the Triple X Root Beer Diner or whatever in Washington. Part of my emotions. I blame Post Malone for validating the feelings of rich white men. Like, nobody cares that a girl broke up with you, Kevin. Why don't you go buy an ugly jacket about it? The vocals on this song. 
Send me to hell. I've been drinking, floating, caught in my emotions in my mind. I've been sinking, coping, left my heart broken. I don't know why. I've been why is there noticeable auto tune even when you're just open mouthed mumble ranting? Like for some reason, your vocal style just doesn't sound as good as the black artists you stole it from. I couldn't even really focus on the lyrics here. So now all I know about Jake Paul is that women yell at him and he breathes through his mouth. Also, it's confusing because it shows Jake getting up from the table and then the very next shot, he's like sitting back down. Even just some basic continuity would be good. Basic Jake Paul, some basic continuity would help me with this viewing experience. I've been drinking, hoping, caught in my emotion, looking outside. Girl, you better shut up. <laughs> The Paul brothers always want to give you that cheap CGI physical comedy. Oh, they'd love to do it. I'm single. That's the bug on my windshield getting a free ride to Krispy Kreme every day. The only comedic joke you and your brother have is getting hit by a car. Guess what? Go do it for real then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't, I obviously don't wish pain or injury or suffering on anybody, which is why I'm warning you guys not to watch this video. Oh, oh. You on the ground, going ham. Yeah. Say you going out. Who the hell put Insanity Ward on the screen here? Why does every single detail that goes on the screen seem like it was added by someone who doesn't have a lot of books in their house? Insanity Ward, like go with the second draft, like workshop your on-screen text a little bit. Also, side note, do you guys realize that calling um, a mentally ill person insane is actually problematic? Because insanity comes from when we called those hospitals sanitariums, meaning that people who were mentally ill were unclean and needed to be sanitized, which is a harmful thought to have, so we shouldn't call it an insanity ward. We should call it Jake Paul's dumbass room where I hope he never leaves. <laughs> Listen to how he talks. Well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You can go out, you can have a good time. I'm so over this. Why does his clothing look like if Hunter S. Thompson was alive when vaping was invented? But at least did you hear that, women of the world? Jake Paul will still allow you to go out and have fun even if you're having sex with him. Even if you're sleeping with Jake Paul, it does get better. <laughs> Here's more of him villainizing women, not just in the storyline, but also in how he dresses them for these videos. But just know at the same time, I can play games too. Ah yes, the essential feminine care tasks on every lady's to-do list. Mess with heart, break heart, control mind, revenge. Actually, I think that's just a list of rejected Kim Petras song titles. Yes, diva. Don't be shocked by this group shot. This was made before the quarantine, if you can remember that time. I'm single. I'm single. I would call out Jake Paul for not including any women of color in this group shot, but then I realized they probably didn't want to be included. This looks like the Capify sorority house after hearing one Cardi B song. Um, he tried, he tried to give this a storyline, but it's really not clear for me. Like I get that in the subplot, he's like in a mental institution, sorry, insanity ward, and the girl is like keeping him hostage and taking revenge. I don't, it's not clear. It's really vague. I would have loved any more story on this, any more kind of care with this. The, the locations are beautiful, I will give them that. They're clearly shooting in Washington um, and they have gorgeous scenic views. And the camera work is not bad on this. Like I think the colors look good and the like cinematic look of it is actually working for me. I just wish it, that it weren't wasted on such a misogynistic video. I've been sinking, coping, left my heart broken. I don't know why. What's going on? The storyline of this video is bad for women in general, but running through the forest in Amazon's choice for a sexy nurse costume is also bad for that woman in particular. Like she's wearing a paper thin dress in the winter and that all male crew was like, over the meadow and through the woods, your vagina is frozen solid. She's really going for it for this music video. This, ugh, we hate to see it. I'm single. I'm single. This girl is obviously supermodel gorgeous, but I'm not gonna pretend like I don't notice that they didn't have a makeup artist on set. That I woke up like this face does not match the I just drank absinthe dress. <laughs> also, when you're out in the snow, you get a lot of bounce back from that sun hitting the snow. So you're gonna need some concealer if you don't wanna look tired. I'm, I didn't make the rules. She looks beautiful. I said that, right? She looks gorgeous. I'm just saying. She looks like a dressed up sexy girl and she has no makeup on. Anyway, Jake like kind of jumped and now he's flying. Like, I'm just trying to figure it out. Yep, then Jake jumps off a cliff while the names of his sausage party crew members roll to the sound of male jeers. Art, that's art. So the next Jake Paul, oh, let me powder this face real fast. I just saw the 
Statue of Liberty reflecting in my forehead. So the very next song that we're gonna be doing is 23 by Jake Paul, which I think was his age, but like also is maybe the number on Michael Jordan's like t-shirt when he plays the, the, the game. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, let's see what, what it's all about. Of course he can't do a music video without including that other one. Hurry up, hurry up. Where do you want to go? You little Straight to the bank here. No cat. <laughs> After one of the Paul brothers changes his hair or grows a beard, how long does the other one have to wait before copying it exactly? Do they help each other do it? Like when birds feed each other regurgitated worms? We've watched a Logan Paul movie before, um, Airplane Mode, Mama, Sister, Brother, <laughs> Brethren. You gotta watch it if you haven't seen it. That movie was <laughs> so bad. <laughs> anyway, Jake Paul's 23. Not this Adobe Premiere graphics template, and you didn't even change the font from Times New Roman. The attention to detail is just stunning from this millionaire musical artist. Anyone with 20 bucks can do this, and like a YouTube account can figure out how to do this. It's not really very interesting. And like, they tried to be funny with the little scroll on the bottom, but they only put three gags in there repeating. I, I mean, like music videos do this all the time where something's on screen, and the longer you watch it, the more little Easter eggs you find. Black Mirror does this with their on-screen displays all the time, but this is boring. Like, there's nothing to watch here. Anyway, they're dancing on the roof of a mansion. They're sitting in the back of a car. Can't do the regular bands. I like the seats that recline. No, I'm a dog. It's all f***ing her and her friends. I like them two at a time. I love when straight men brag about sleeping with two women at a time. That's just three people. In the gay world, that's a Tuesday. It's basically just straight men admitting that they feel lucky when more than one person can stand to be in the same room as them. Also, get Logan Ball out of here with that poorly rendered green screen on the glove. I want to press the eject button and send him up. Send him up to the rainbow heavens. <laughs> Again, I don't actually want to hurt anybody. I'm just spewing hate. <laughs> How am I 23 sitting on 23? I feel like Jordan, I'm back in my prime. Tell me why that girl on the left was like, oh, I love the number 23, starring Jim Carrey. 23, 23, he's not got 23, got into 23. Like, stop bragging that you have all your chromosomes. No one cares. I'm on a 23, come on in 23, 23, 23, 23, 23. This year's in the make. Why would I lie? Why these rappers just run out of time? Why does that bag of money look like it's going right up his ass? Why did no one on set think to be like, why don't we have you sit on that lower ledge like it's a chair, not that upper crest like it's a traffic cone? Mama, he's really challenging himself at age 23. Love to see it. Jake Paul said, no, I'm gonna sit at the very top because it's symbolic of how my career is like Mount Everest. And I want Mount Everest to go right into my crack. He's wearing like the Chicago Bulls t-shirt. And I think this, this must be like a cool dance. 23, I feel like Jordan, I'm back in my prime. Had to <sighs> I'm gonna venture to guess that that didn't look as cool as when Drake does it. White people, we just gotta understand that when we appropriate these dances, it looks like Barney and friends got a TikTok. Like, oh, yeah. rated G for go home. Uh, you left your camera's tripod in this faux helicopter shot. Kubrick. Some sound effects to sell that this is supposed to be a helicopter would be great because right now it's just obviously a drone that you can buy for 80 bucks on Amazon. Everything is so annoying when I watch it with both eyes. Ooh. <laughs> You guys, later I'm gonna watch a movie that I'm doing another clip breakdown on and I'll give you a hint. Attention! No one thinks that fire is real, baby. It doesn't even have a reflection in the car. I don't know who he paid to do this video, but it seriously looks like it could have been done by a film student with a few After Effects tutorials. So we love to see it. I mean, don't brag about being a millionaire and then put out a video that cost you $3,000. Someone had to say it. Someone had to say it. Someone had to say it. Yeah. Okay, let's watch one more video. Can you, do you have it in you? Can you take a sip of water? Let's take a deep breath. <laughs> That's how I deep, that's how I meditate. Gets me worked up every time. What's this video called? None of these songs are memorable. All of these songs are awful. Park South Freestyle featuring Mike Tyson. Ugh, it hurts. I just felt my discs rupture when I read that. But it's okay, we got it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it and do it. So this is apparently a freestyle. Mama, I don't believe that. I believe that he recorded this without writing it down, but I don't believe he just is spitting this out improvised. Let's see though. Yeah, good one. Here's a good rap video here. Check it out. 
Ooh, perfect. I try to get all my music recommendations from people that I would be afraid to let hold my baby. If it's supposed to be a brag that you sat next to Mike Tyson and he watched your music video, I don't feel like I envy you at all. It just means you sat close to someone who has had a lot of concussion. Anyway, let's watch the video that Mike Tyson loves so much. Back. We was hanging off Paul. That girl in the pink is struggling. She said, if I can't make my butt cheeks vibrate fast enough, Jake Paul's gonna make me sleep on one of the pool floaties again. It seems like these kids all have that thing cut into the side of their head. It's like, isn't it embarrassing if you and all of the other white kids in your crew have the same exact haircut? Like, I get it. I'm, I have a basic white gay haircut most of the time as well, but I, that's why I don't hang out with people. I'm pretty sure the mannequin challenge was done trending well before this. I'm going to be docking you two millennial merits and penalizing you with one boomer tumor. Pop star girl sliding in and she wanna keep it on tug and come to the house again. Listen, if pop stars wanna sleep with you, it's because you act like a bad boy while still living in a gated community. The key thing to remember is that they don't want people to find out about it, so it's not that impressive. It seems like they got to run amok in some sort of 7-Eleven. This was shot in quarantine, so maybe that's why. Crossbody come with hollow to top 10 and she- My worst nightmare is being stuck in a convenience store with any one of these people. I'd be like, you know what? Suddenly I don't want a Slurpee because it smells like hair wax and balls in here. I'm really what's popping. You boys trying to find your way. I don't even want- This does not look like safe driving. Please allow the females to exit the vehicle and then you can continue on your way over that narrow cliffside bridge or whatever. This music video has absolutely no artistic merit. It's just some guy who bought a camera to shoot skate videos, like holding it on his shoulder and being like, now you all stand still. Oh, let's go in the tennis court because there's already lights there. Oh, let's go in this stupid, stupid, stupid 7-Eleven and dance. Like, it's not good enough on its own. Like, those are interesting locations, but you're wasting them. Talk these days, I'm really phone numbers get switched these days. They probably thought it would look cool to show the private jet pilot, but they were really gonna give this man his big break and no one wanted to hold his lanyard for him. No one wanted to grab his security badge. His wife's gonna be so disappointed when she sees this. Well, she'll be proud, but she'll be like, I wish someone would have held your badge for you so you could have just been in your uniform. That's what I would have said. I am asking him to marry me. Remember when I warned them that that was unsafe driving? I just crashed the Rolls truck. <laughs> Y'all better scream the and everybody streamed the F out of it. That's why it was a platinum hit. Oh wait, no, I just heard about it now and it wasn't that good. Huh, well, what do you know? What do you guys think of these Jake Paul music videos? Are you a Jake Pauler, baller, shot collar, doing the dance everybody wants to holler? Let me know in the comments below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more YouTuber clip breakdowns just like this. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right down here. That way you'll never be out of the loop when I always upload a brand new video, two every week. So turn on notifications and you'll always be the first to know. Also, I've got merch featuring this new Hello Television viewers design Bring. and a patreon where you can access exclusive content like bonus clip breakdowns watch parties you guys are all the greatest thank you so much for turning 23 23 23 with me today i will see you next time